Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about event system in Drupal. We will cover how to how to subscribe to an event or basically how to create or write an event subscriber. Then we will study how to create a custom event and then we will see what all steps are needed in creating a custom event event like how to dispatch it how to create it and then at last how to subscribe the custom created event so uh, and at last uh, after all this we will also see how to set the property of events so let's get started for writing an event uh, let's let's subscribe to to an event so that we can understand uh, some basics to an event uh, system in Drupal. So for that, I have a custom module called Drupal Hex, and I'll be doing everything for this demo or video in this module. So let's create an event. For creating an event, we have to uh, write a sub uh, uh, service, and let's write the service. I have code for that. So we can write the service like this. So I have a service called Drupal Hacks Config Subscriber, and I'm basically subscribing to Config Event, and we will see what it is in a couple of minutes. So uh, for subscribing or making our class a, a second uh, line represents the class, I'm going to write my logic in and third is the tag tag inside the tags i am specifying the name of the tag uh, to be event subscriber and by this line i am telling drupal that this class is an event subscriber subscribing to an event so let's write this class i have the code of that class also for saving some time so uh, in the class uh, or line uh, or property, you can see I'm specifying or writing this e class inside the event subscriber directory of my module Drupal hack. So I have the directory event subscriber here. I'm going to write that class inside this folder and I'm going to save it. I'll remove these. This is not needed these two events would be enough for this demo and let's move this as well yeah okay cool so let's save it so inside the event subscriber class what do we have to do we must implement event subscriber interface and we have to write one uh, static function which is called get subscribed event so this function basically what it does inside this function which is uh, we, we tell that we are going to subscribe to these events uh, the first parameter is the name of the event uh, and the second parameter is going to be the function i am going to call whenever this event will be triggered or dispatched so uh, here i'm telling an event of config events and the save event is going to happen then call the function config save and then i'm specifying or writing my custom logic inside this function that uh, send uh, show a message that notification for uh, saved config in the config name so uh, this is uh, how i'm subscribing to two events config event save and delete Let's save it, clear the cache. Yeah, so let's save any config and test if our even subscriber is even working or not. So this is a basic site settings or a config. Let's save it. And you can see conf notification for so saved config message I can see. So this is coming from this function. Hence, this is working. Um, let's, let's experiment more. 
I am going to enable a module called statistics. So this module is, is used to log the entries uh, like uh, how many times a user has visited a particular page. So I'm enabling this module. So after enabling this module, I can see few messages notification for saved config core settings. It has seen uh, so two configs are saved and both the messages messages are coming from this line number 37. So my subscription to event config event save through the config save function is working fine. Now I have we have not seen the working example for this event which which will be triggered if I am going to delete any config or any, uh, any delete operation is going to be happen uh, on any configuration. So let's test that. So for testing, let's disable this statistics model. Okay. So now you can see notification for deleted configuration and notification for saved. So the code or extension configuration is being saved and the statistics dot settings as we have unstalled this module. So the configuration of this was deleted. So now this uh, event which we have subscribed to uh, this gets this function gets triggered and then we see that this is also working. So this is how we subscribe to an event in Drupal. Now let's jump on to the second topic, which is how to create a custom event. So for creating a custom event, what do we have to do? We simply have to write a class and that class must extends event. And by this, we simply just create a, a custom event. But the second step is to define how we are going to trigger or dispatch our event. And then and that is it. So let's start with the first step by creating an event or writing an event class. So for that, I'm going to create a folder inside my source folder of the uh, module with name event. And inside this, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to copy the code here. We'll paste it. And here I'm the name of my custom event is going to be node created. Uh, let's save it first. So the name of my custom is going the event is going to be node created info event. So basically, whenever uh, a node is going to be uh, saved, sorry, a new no node is going to be saved, I'm going to show show a message that hola author the name of the author has published the note and the title of the note so the, for showing this message i'm creating an event called note created info alter and the event name is going to be author info so uh, yeah so that is it and the second is we have to write how to create or how to dispatch or trigger our event before that, let me also uh, give you a, uh, a detailed information about the methods in my uh, node created info event. So this event name, as I've told you, is going to be the name of my event. I, I can change it to anything, ABC or anything. So I'll go with the event name here. Uh, then, uh, then inside the constructor, you basically write your logic of how your event is going to perform, I mean, what your event is going to perform. Now let's write how we are going to dispatch it. So this is a node created uh, event and going to be performed on saving the node. So let's dispatch it in the, when we are going to save the event, sorry, when we are going to save the node. So for that, I'm going to uh, dispatch it inside the hook entity type insert which is hook node insert and inside this whenever a new node is going to be saved i'm going to dispatch my custom created event so i'm going to save it and here you can see i am uh, creating a new uh, object of type node created info event which is 
this class and uh, I'm creating a service called event dispatcher and through that service event dispatcher uh, and through the service function called dispatch I am dispatching my custom event and inside this dispatch function I am passing two arguments first argument is is the name of my event so the name of my event is going to be author info so that I'm going I'm specifying through this and second I'm passing the object of my event event and inside this if you would have noticed inside new node created I'm passing node ob node object and uh, you can pass it uh, anything here depending on your logic since I have specified that my event is going to need an uh, object of node interface that is why while dispatching I am uh, passing a node object here now dispatching is done now let's just subscribe to an event and let's see if it is even working or not for subscribing I am going to simply create a subscribe and service and uh, that service is going to be drupal hacks custom event subscriber and the class name is going to be drupal hacks notes note save event subscriber and inside the subscriber event subscriber folder i'm create, going to create a new file and and that file is going to be this so like any other subscriber uh, i am implementing event subscriber interface and uh, i am specifying uh, a function called static function even get event subscribe get subscribed events and inside the get subscribed events i am returning the events i am subscribing to so here i am subscribing to our custom event so i have passed node created info event and the event name and on on subscribing i'm calling a custom function called add new message so in this i'm uh, Printing a new message called this author is member since two months. It can be anything. I'm passing something hard coded here. So let's just save it. And let's let's first clear the cache. Okay. Now let's let's save. Okay, so for this demo, let's create a node, basic page, test for custom event. So you can see I'm getting my message hola author admin has published the node the name of the node this is coming from our custom event and since I have subscribed to this custom event and I'm writing a custom uh, message called this author is the mem is member since two months so this is how I have subscribed to that custom event now the last thing uh, of this video which I wanted to talk about was how to set the priority of event so for setting the priority let's create a new event subscriber for this i'm going to copy this and create a new subscriber subscriber new uh, here new and i'm going to copy create a new subscriber for this I am going to copy this so the so new subscriber has been created I am going to go with the changing the name here uh, so the mess sorry the message here so i'm going i'm adding new here so that i can identify the difference uh, and on the old one i'm setting the uh, the pro priority to be 10 
and here i'm setting the priority of this config save event to be to 11 first clear the cache and register the newly created event subscriber now let's go and enable the statistics module and let's see in which order our event subscriber are going to be triggered so you see the new the the newly created subscriber is triggering first then the notification new then the notification because the newly created subscriber has higher priority now if i set it to nine and keep the old one uh, the priority of the old one to 10 so now the priority of the new one is lower so now let's go so now see earlier we were we were seeing that new notification was coming uh, before notification which means new notification or our new subscriber was triggering first now we have changed the priority of the new uh, even subscriber to be uh, low uh, lower than the old one which is 10 so now the old one is getting fired first see so that is how we set the priority and that is how we play with the priority. So if we want to run our event subscriber on the top of any other event subscriber, we can play with the priority. So that is all about events in Drupal. Thank you.